cold December day. We are on. Morning guys and thanks for being here. We are going to start my day off with some hot cocoa in the vanilla flavor versus the regular coffee that I drink. I just wanted something a little sweet this morning, a little bit different. So um, I'm just having a Lando Lakes brand. You guys, I know there are some delicious hot cocos out there, but let me tell you, Lando Lakes is definitely in the top three. I am piloting my sleigh. So now that the car is all warmed up and we're in it, I'm dropping the kids off at school. Um, yes, you guys, I do have a underage kid in the front seat. He is the first to be dropped off and he's pretty tall for his age and he can wear the seat belt perfectly. So no worries, he's safe and we live less than a mile from his school. You guys, watch this arrow. This is my teenager provoking my toddler. It is insane. You would think that they are close in age as much as they bicker and argue. And you can see his little legs flailing as he's trying to poke her back and he just can't seem to get to her. This is a normal thing with them. They are so silly. So you guys, I am off to school number two. My children go to uh, three different schools because of their large age gaps. So I definitely have a busy, busy morning. So after I drop my kiddos off, it is definitely a busy morning. I am on my way to make some grocery at Walmart. And I just wanted to show you guys these Franklin Mountains. I never get tired of this view. Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. You are watching At Home with Troy. I am Troy and today is going to be a day in the life with me as you all saw from the earlier clips I dropped my kiddos off at school I got the day started and um, I just finished up some um, grocery shopping at Walmart Manny Emmanuel mama talking could you please quiet down yes I'll give you some more pretzels can you quiet down thank you boo-boo but um, I just picked up my um, some Walmart groceries and I'm going to go home. I am going to show you guys my grocery haul and I'm going to get started with the rest of the day. All that mama stuff, cooking, cleaning, the whole nine yards. And today, you guys, I do have just a little bit extra for you. Um, you all know it's the start of the holiday season and like Mariah Carey ain't got nothing on me, y'all. I'm so doggone excited. And today we are going to start with my entryway. Of course, as the season goes on, I'll probably add a little bit more touches etc etc as things go on but today I am going to start on the entryway and decorating for the holiday so let's get this day started you guys So you guys, I did the grocery shopping for the first two weeks of the month and I've got some tuna, some lemon butter dill sauce for some salmon I like to prepare for my husband, some peanut butter, canned peaches, some uh, strawberry jam, I've got barbecue sauce, some black beans, and of course some spaghetti sauce, eggs here, some um, green salsa, I'll be using in a recipe tonight for dinner, some Texas toast, and of course, a big box of chips for my kiddos' lunches. I've got my bottled water, my carbonated water, which you all know I'm obsessed with, I've gotta have. And I got two different trail mix. Um, the last time I got my own trail mix, my family devoured it, so I got a second one <laughs> that they could snack on so I can have mine last a little bit longer. We were running low on some seasoning, so I grabbed those. Um, I got these two containers, really expensive, really inexpensive um, for my laundry pods and for, um, you know, like the smell good beads. Um, 
you guys i grabbed up some of this um vanilla almond awake cereal um you can compare it to like the uh, national brands it's really good and it's something um a healthier choice for my husband um, I got this cute little keychain and um, this headband. I have a pair of boots to match it, and it was only $4, so I grabbed it up. Crackers, some uh, brownie mix here, um, this cinnamon applesauce for uh, my uh, five-year-old, um, some cornbread. They are on sale right now. You know that uh, Thanksgiving is around the corner, so it's hard to think that cornbread would be any cheaper, but it was. It was only 40 cents each. Usually it's 50 cents. Um, some uh, tea, ketchup, uh, of course, some um, just some coffee creamer, orange juice, some margarine. Um, I've got canola oil, and I want to try out this new ocean spray that's mixed with a uh, cranberry, passion fruit, and pineapple. So moving on down, um, I've got flour and sugar because of course they're just staples. Um, I fry a lot as well as make gravies from scratch, so I need the flour. Um, I grab this uh, pizza for a Friday night when I'm not in the mood to cook. Um, some of these uh, pecan turtle cookies, they are super good, you guys. Bagels for um, a quick breakfast in the morning. I've got these um, street tacos, which will be in my recipe for dinner tonight. I just plan to make some uh, creamy uh, chicken, and I'll show you guys how I'm going to do that. Um, I've got some hamburger buns, just some uh, Kool-Aid mixes, um, a uh, chili seasoning for, um, you know, this week's meal plan, strawberries and shredded cheese, apples, some yogurt for some smoothies, um, We'll also some avocados and jalapenos, which will be a part of dinner tonight. This uh, bacon here, and right under the bacon, I've got a, um, another pack of sausage for um, this, or just my breakfast meats. Some uh, ground beef and some ground um, turkey. And then um, behind those meats, um, I've got the cream cheese here. I've got some shredded cabbage which will go in um, the tacos tonight. I also have um, these salad kits, which me and my husband love, and Manny, he loves those as well. Um, it's such a cheaper alternative to buying just like every single product that you would put in that type of salad. Some um, salmon here, and uh, behind that, I've just got some um, green beans. Um, I only needed to buy a half a gallon of milk because I had a whole one in there already. I went to Sam's Club earlier this week. Um, some chicken pies, some um, boneless, uh, skinless chicken breasts, of course. And right beside that, you guys, I have a um, family size of wings. Now, most of the time, wings are super expensive, and I was so lucky to get these on sale. Um, a pack like this would usually be over um, 11 or $12, but I only, I got it for a seven. Let's see, uh, yep, you guys, this was $16 regular price, and I got it for seven. I was super duper lucky. So you guys, even though it is about mid-afternoon, I get my dinner started because my uh, children, they get out at staggering times and it takes me at least an hour and a half to do pickup at all three schools. So um, I like dinner to be done and ready when I uh, get home at about um, 4.30. So um, for dinner tonight, I am going to make um, rice uh, with black, white rice with black beans and um, creamy jalapeno uh, chicken tacos. So um, right now what I'm doing is just getting started by putting my rice in the um, rice cooker. Um, and also I cook my rice with um, chicken broth a lot um, versus water it just gives it just a little bit more flavor so um i probably use um half of whatever is required for the amount of rice that i'm cooking half water and half chicken
So here are the ingredients. I've got some uh, cream cheese here. I've got um, the uh, salsa verde uh, behind it, just the green salsa. And I got it in a medium because um, I got chopped jalapenos here and I leave the seeds in them for that extra spice. So the salsa didn't need to be too hot. Right here in this little ramekin, I've got a mixture of ground uh, cilantro, garlic, and white onions. I have two whole chicken breasts there and the black beans. So I'm um, getting started. What I'm going to do first, as you can see, I've got the fire on that pot there and in there is a little bit of um, oil, which I'm going to put the chicken in and just let it steam and saute a little bit um, at the bottom of the camera, which you can't see. I'm sorry, you guys, I'm doing um, my beans. So in there, I put um, a little bit of chicken broth with water. I put in my black beans. I put in my uh, mixture of the minced onions, cilantro, and green peppers. And um, I'm just going to let that simmer. As you can see, I've got all those seasonings over to the right, which I will put in in a little bit. And the chicken, I'm putting about a half a uh, can of uh, the salsa verde. And now I'm going to add in that cream cheese. So I'm just going to put a top on that and let it cook probably for about, um, let's say 15 to 20 minutes on really low. And then I'll take it out just to test to see if it's done and, um, you know, how, how much done it is all the way through and if it's moist or not. And then I'll probably go on and shred it. And right now I'm just doing all the seasonings and my beans. And I will probably let those simmer for about 30 minutes on a very low heat as well. So I'm just trying to clean up as I go, put those seasonings away. I'm on the phone just yakking with my husband. Or it might be my sister. I talked to both of them all doggone day, so I really couldn't tell you which one it was. So about halfway done, I take the chicken out and I start to break it apart. Um, you can, you know, leave it in a little longer. Mine wasn't quite finished, but I also felt that by uh, shredding it this way and cutting it, that it would um, cook just a little bit faster, just quick in the process. So after all of the shredding and the chopping, I do put it back in the pan with all of the um, cream cheese and the jalapeno and the salsa verde mixture for about um, no more than 15 minutes. And um, it's pretty much done. And I'm just going to uh, turn off the heat and let it sit there until um, I pick up the kiddos from school and it's dinner time. So on to the best part, you guys, getting ready for the holidays, decorating my entryway. So um, I don't have a lot to do with the entryway, so it's not too dirty, but um, it's definitely dusty. And so I am going to um, vacuum the floor. Um, and I'm also just going to get all those areas that I regularly miss. Um, I'm just trying to get all the dust bunnies and, um, you know, just everything up out of the corners and the cracks here. It's things that I just don't usually uh, pay attention to. So next up, I'm just going to give it a light cleaning with my uh, Mrs. Meyer Snowdrop scent. I bought this scent um, probably about a month ago and I haven't used it because I'm like, well, it's not exactly Christmas time yet, but it's time for Christmas decorating and Christmas cleaning. So I was so excited to pull it out and to use it and just have that scent all around the house. And um, this is one of the scents that really, really last. But some of the Mrs. Meyer scent, they smell good 
clean up for maybe um, an hour or two. You can smell it afterwards. But this one I noticed has lasted like even more than an hour or two. And I'm so happy about that. So now that I've done with that little bit of cleaning, I'm going to decorate. And as I said, um, I've just got a couple of things here. This Merry Christmas wreath is something that I made probably three years ago. And I simply took a Dollar Tree wreath and a Dollar Tree sign and just literally just tied them together. <laughs> it was absolutely nothing fancy and, you know, required little to no thought. And just, it was pretty and festive. And the red theme is definitely what I'm going for this year with the traditional colors. So they worked out. That little gnome that you see up there was from the Dollar Tree and that little um, wooden gift is from Hobby Lobby. So um, as I said, it's just a couple of things that I'm putting up as the season goes on. I'm sure I'll add to this, you know, area, but we will see. And this is the hardest part of always decorating is just seeing what look balanced and, you know, where things should go. So that's just me fiddling with everything right here. So I wasn't completely satisfied with um, what I had up there. So I just went and grabbed a couple of ornaments and just tried to make it a little bit more cuter and just, just put a little bit extra touches. And I was really satisfied with how that came out. I feel like ornaments, even though, you know, we put them on a tree and stuff, they can be used everywhere, whether it's on like a mantle, on your garland or something like that. And it just really adds a lot of uh, festivity to it. So last but not least, you guys, I'm gonna take my swag that you all saw in a previous video that you all saw me make, and I am going to um, hang this up. Um, I'm using command hooks, uh, the kind that like hold about three pounds, I think, because this isn't too heavy, but it's definitely not light with all of the uh, picks and things that I put in it. So I'm just gonna have that um, hooked up there right above my windows. And here is my entryway all finished, you guys. Um, here are the little ornaments that I added that I told you about that I thought just added a special touch. Here's my little gnome from the Dollar Tree and him just standing beside a gift that I got from a Hobby Lobby that's made out of wood. And here are some more ornaments that I added, just on um, different shape, different size, and different texture, just to give it a little bit of depth and a little bit of interest. So I don't know if I've mentioned this to you guys before, but I never do my Christmas decorations when my family is awake or when they're home. I like them to be surprised and to walk into a space that was completely different than um, before. So I'm really excited for them to come home and the entryway be finished and for them to get excited about the season. Okay, y'all. I think I sat down once today. And the only reason I sat down was because I had to go potty. It was not to relax and kick my feet up. So um, I finished dinner and I uh, decorated the entryway. And now I am going to go pick my children up from school. And then when I pick them up, I'm probably gonna be running around doing homework too. I won't have opportunity to sit down and relax either. But um, you guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. And um, hope you enjoyed my video. Like and subscribe if you feel like it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. On this cold December day